So if you're going to work over a backing track in Ableton, here's what you should do. First of all, go to Preferences, Record, Warp Launch. Turn this one off. Turn this one off. Set this one to Complex. Next, you can drag in your backing track, whether it's a YouTube beat or whatever. And you need to know the tempo. So this one's 120. So I'm going to make sure the project up here is set at 120. Then I'm going to double click on the audio and I'm going to enable warp. You can see that it's automatically complex. And now it's going to be locked in time with whatever I set the tempo at. So I can change this to 115 and this is going to play at 115 in time. Um, the other step you can do is if you get sent an Ableton file, you might find that there's a slight delay between where the transients of the drums are. So the beat is a little bit behind the click here. Uh, that's because Ableton adds a sort of silence at the beginning. So to fix that, I'm just going to drag that so there's a bit of room to work with. I'm going to find the first obvious transient here, which is a kick. Drag this back. I'm holding command to drag it. And then if I drag the beginning all the way out again, now we're on beat as well. And then if you want to change the key to try singing it in a different key where your voice fits it better, you want to come down here to the pitch. So I'm double clicked on the clip and then down here on pitch. This is going to change it by semitones. So up or down. And because it's set to complex mode on warp, it's going to sound all right. Um, another thing you can do is if you want to loop a section uh, over and over, you can select it here. And then you can press Command E. And then you can control click loop selection that's going to turn this on so that's for writing but if you want to create an actual loop you can come in this window select it control click and we're going to look for loop selection here so now this is the loop's been turned on and this part of the music is going to be looped so if you drag this out we're actually just getting a loop of the same slice of audio so if you want to extend a verse or whatever it is in the backing track, that's how to do it easily. And you can see this little black mark here is marking now that every time the loop is restarting. And of course, you can change this and turn that off if you want the main transport loop. So with all of that, you should be able to record vocals over a backing track um, and either bounce out your vocals or send your project to your producer and it'll make life a lot easier.